Will you not? Uthman was the Amir al-Mu'mineen. He was the ruler. He was the Khalifa. The third Caliph of Al-Islam. Radiyallahu anhu. Beloved to Allah. Beloved to the Messenger of Allah. Guaranteed Jannah. But some of the people came to Usama bin Zaid who was a Sahabi. And they didn't like some of the things that they felt Uthman was doing. Because they were listening to the rumors. So they came to Usama bin Zaid and they said, will you not speak to Uthman? Will you not speak? He said, by Allah, I speak to him. And I speak to him when there is no one there except for me and him and no one, no third person. Just me and Uthman. So I do speak to him. Because that's the haqq of a Muslim upon a Muslim. But I will not speak in public. I will not speak out in public. For indeed, I will not open a door that was never opened before me. What door? Publicly speaking against the rulers. I will not open that door, he said, that was never opened before me. Ijma. Usama bin Zaid here is mentioning a consensus that a door was never opened. Which door? The door of publicly rebuking the rulers. Sahaba. Look at the Sahaba. Khawari don't want to listen to that. Because they want to say, no, we will speak regardless of Sahaba radiallahu anhum. This is the understanding of the Sahaba, barakallahu fikum. That's why Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz, Mujaddid, Imam, Athari, Salafi, Sheikh bin Baz said, but they did not listen. And they opened the door, meaning other than the Sahaba, not the Sahaba, other than the Sahaba, from the Ruwaybida. They opened the door, Sheikh bin Baz said, when that door was opened, it has not closed till this day of ours, 1400 years later. Allahu Akbar. They opened the door, the khawarij, of rebuking the rulers, making ta'an in the rulers, and giving what they call nasiha. They say it's nasiha. And they give the nasiha publicly from the manabir, from the mimbar. And they say that we are giving nasiha to the rulers in front of thousands of people. And they say this is nasiha. That's not nasiha. That's ta'an and khuruj. That's why Usama bin Zaid said, I don't want to open a door that was never opened before me. And Sheikh bin Baz said that door was opened and it never closed. Until this day it never closed. And that's why you see the lands of Islam on fire today. Peaceful demonstration. No such thing. Peaceful demonstration. This is, this is what, the, what the non-Muslims they wanted and the enemies of Islam wanted and the munafiqoon they wanted and the rafida they wanted and the khawarij they wanted. And the bakers and the shopkeepers and the bus drivers and the taxi drivers were just fodder that they put out on the streets so they could get their end goal. And the end game was what? Destruction of the Muslim, the Muslim lands. The disunity of the Muslims. The streets filled with blood of the Muslimin. So much so now the same khawarij. The same enemies of Allah, that's what they are. La'natullahi alayhim. These enemies of Allah, the same ones now, take pictures of dead, dead children and dead people. And they say, look, look at these dead bodies that the enemies of Islam have killed. You have killed them. They have killed them. They're the ones who opened up the door for the killing of the Muslims in the lands of Islam. Where there was... Where there was security before, now there is bloodshed. Where there were hospitals before, is nothing but rubble. Where there were streets, is nothing but, but landmines and craters in the earth. Where there were schools, are now shattered and destroyed buildings. Where there were mothers with children, are now orphans walking in the streets. Because of these khawarij. And then they want to tweet out pictures to us. Telling us we're not doing anything. They're the ones who started this fitna. And corruption. They're wallahi. I swear by Allah. Allah is my witness. They are not upon the deen. That Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought. They are not upon the path of the sahaba radiallahu anhum. They are mubtadi'ah. Dogs of the hellfire as the Prophet ﷺ described them. The worst of Allah's creatures under the sky. This is what they are. Corruption because they left the guidance 
of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. This is why the Salafis go on and we keep going on and on and on and they say, will you not speak about anything else? Yes, we do speak about other affairs. But we will not stop speaking about this affair. Because look how many people have gone astray. Look how many people have gone astray, subhanallah. 